the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Greeting to all of you, brothers and sisters. Today, not only are we celebrating the sixth Sunday of Easter, but we also celebrating and congratulate all of our eighth graders graduating from junior high. Let us honor our graduates with this holy mass and celebrate this incredible milestone with them. St. Teresa of Avila once wrote, that Christ has no body on earth but ours. The 16th century mystic understood what Jesus meant when he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. St. Teresa believed that we meet Jesus' expectation by becoming a voice for the voiceless, as St. Philip did in Samaria today, where his preaching signs and deeds. We will hear the scriptures reading, brought great joy to the people of God. Let us imitate these saints and bring great joy to the people around us by first acknowledging our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and brings us to an everlasting life. Amen. Jerusalem 
heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit, the word of the Lord. disciples, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. 
And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you, and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Again, congratulations to all of our eighth graders graduating from junior high. Let us honor our graduates and pray for this group of bright, high achieving individuals that are about to embark on the next step of their academic journey. Students, congratulations. You are now almost high schoolers, almost ready for more responsibility, more work, and more opportunities. I want to personally thank each and every one of you for the contribution you have made to your school and our St. Francis Church. We are all better because of each and every one of you. And on behalf of Father Joe, myself, and all the staffs here at St. Francis, we are all very proud of you and I want to wish to all of you a fun and a safe summer. Brothers and sisters in Christ, in the gospel today, Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. This assertion is meant not for just God's contemporary disciples, it is intended for all who choose to follow Jesus. And for the first half of the sentence to be true, the second half must be fulfilled. If you love God, you will keep God's commandment. Loving Jesus begins, as St. Peter would later write, by sanctifying Christ as Lord in our hearts, by making God the center of our life. Evidence that the early disciples understood what it meant to love Jesus is found in St. Philip's ministry to Samaria. When Philip went down to this Samar Samaritan city, he did not just proclaim Jesus as the Messiah. He expressed his faith through his witness, and all who heard him saw the signs he was doing and believed. They believed because Philip did these works in Jesus' name, working with the Holy Spirit and imitating Jesus, who did perfectly the will of God. Brothers and sisters, if we love Jesus, then we will continue to be as Jesus was, a voice for the voiceless, the grieving, the abandoned, the persecuted. We will understand that Jesus' ministry of love did not end with his death, but continues through his body, the church, and we, Christians, are the living stone that build up that church. Through baptism, we enter into Christ's prophetic, royal, and priestly ministry. This call to love Jesus by following his commandments, to love and care for our neighbors, is challenging. For this reason, Jesus did not abandon us to carry out this ministry of love without support. He sent His Spirit to abide with us. Brothers and sisters, it is comforting to know that we are not alone. With the grace of the Holy Spirit, we become witnesses to the resurrection of Christ and nourish the world with our spiritual fruits. 
as St. Teresa of Avila wrote, Christ has no body on earth without us. So if we do not speak and act for Christ, who will? So let us be the body of Christ on earth in both words and actions. Amen. Let us stand and professing our faith, the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified upon Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic Church, an apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. To God the Father, who has given us new life through the resurrection of His Son, let us offer our prayers for the needs of the Church and the world. For an end to abortion and respect for all life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the baptized, that we proclaim Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of our towns and cities, that they pay attention to the Christian message this Easter and receive it with joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nurses, doctors, and all medical personnel, that they continue to serve and heal in freedom of conscience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this Eucharistic gathering, that we love Christ and sanctify him as Lord in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and diocese, that every heart be filled with the joy of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our eighth grade students, as they are promoted to high school, may the Lord continue to bless them in the next chapter of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions written in our parish book. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, Hear and grant our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, show himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice, Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Blessed Apostles, 
with St. Joseph, St. Peter, St. Paul, St. Francis, St. Clare, St. Anthony, St. Bonaventure, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our ways, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace.
resurrection of Christ, increasing us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and poured into our hearts the strength of this saving fruit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, I, like, I wish to congratulate all the graduates uh, for graduating and wishing each and every one of you a safe and fun summer as you prepare to embark on the next journey of your academic career. And I also wish to thank uh, Anthony uh, Feldeck uh, as our cantor, Dan William, our organist, and uh, Sandy, our musicians. Will Woolman, our cameraman, Maria Kingry, uh, coordinating. Um, again, uh, it takes many hands to make this Mass possible. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Our closing 